Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fashionation. Getting back into the swing of things here. Yes, as you can see on this, I actually took the bodice portion off earlier today and I had to have my friend help me get it off because she knows it's all stuck full of pins. Um, so as you guys know for the yellow dress challenge i have one pocket already completely hand sewn on uh you know today i have made some wunderbar progress here um i'm starting to get the second pocket you know together so as you can see right here again this is going to be what an invisible hemline of course um why because i think that really makes it look nice i really do i think it makes it look nice um and of course you know when i come back up here i'm just gonna tack this back together with this stay stitch because that stay stitch obviously didn't stay um okay some wunderbar news today is president trump i know not all of you like him but i could care less um it is what it is right now anyway he just announced restocking all the hospitals with any medical supplies that they need via the military. And he's, you know, having them go into hospitals and uh, resupply medical supplies such as face masks. So don't feel that there's a huge need for that. Did I not tell people that? Um, it was all going to be fine. I believe I did. Everything's going to be all right. Going to be all right. That's right. And he said that there's already uh, vaccines available. If you want your vaccine, go ahead and go get one. But they're not going to force it on the population. Um... They're also going to break down those sites for testing people. Um, no more drive through because he said that's just not needed. It's a waste of the people's money. He's making it come out of Pelosi's pocket, though. She didn't want to help the people, so he's going to hurt her pocket. There you go. So, that that's a huge ray of sunshine. Okay. So, what you might not know that I'm doing here, of course, most of you will. Taking it down through here, right? And back through here. Now, see, um, when I'm showing you how to do this, right? This is the same thing that you can do with the shirt that you need to take in at the shoulder. Is you just pull that amount of fabric up, right? Then take your needle through under that way. And do it from the inside, obviously. Um, it's the same thing with doing invisible hemline uh, you're basically going through going like that you know because you're bringing it back through um, and then you're bringing it back through so you're going down under push back up This is tasking, but I'm going to tell you what. Trust and believe it's worth it. 
it is worth the work. Um, say you want to put a pocket on something, uh, absolutely. Like I was saying, um, President Trump's announcements today was like a beatimous ray of sunshine. People are being employed because markets are looking. Um, yeah, definitely. Don't walk away from a job. A uh, Sky in the grocery store said that his son had quit from that grocery store. But my friend's son works at that grocery store. So, <laughs> I think my friend's son was wiser to take the job there than not have a job at all. You know? Some of our armed forces will literally take a job at a grocery store if they're reservists or guard. You know? So they have their income. Along with going to school. You know? Some millennials take, you know, going to school as, you know, oh, ha, ha, I'm just going to do this and then do that. No, you got to work for it. I'm just saying, you have to work for it. So, how is everybody today? How you doing? There you go. See, I could have restarted this. Hey. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Pink scissor. Um, so I only have so many days left to get this skirt done. Um, so I'm just going to quickly hand sew this. Now I'm doing this video before I go to bed actually. So this will be my good night. Um, before... I go to sleep. So, I actually want to get most of this pocket done before I go to sleep tonight. And I thought, okay, well, you know, I start up from here. I might as well work my way over and around and get a pocket completed. Then I have both pockets on here. And it's going to be okay. Like I was saying, everything's going to be all right. Do, 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 do. Gonna be all right. You know what? The movie Walking Tall. I had the chance to be in that movie, but I opted out. I was staying in Oregon at that time. But I opted out of being in a movie with The Rock. <laughs> but a lot of people be like, wait, hold on. You opted out of being in a movie with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. But I was trying to tell the locals how they could make their comp cards and you know, all the model industry stuff because they were looking for locals to, to be um, extras. And they were like, oh my gosh, you know how to do this? Of course I do. I used to be a model. Used to be a model. So, of course, you needed your comp card, your information, da da da. If you weren't of age, you had to bring a parent with you, da da da. That's just how it goes. It is. And yes, like I said, sewing like this is very tasky. Now, here's something good. And I didn't get my chance to do this the last time. Now, I talked to my friends from Sin City Subs and Candles. Which, as you know, I know the sewing is a shameless plug because I have a discount code. Um, Shars Nation 10 to get 20% off your entire purchase at any time. <sighs> so you can use it more than once. Um, they are not closed. They are open for business. <sighs> it's always lovely. Um, 
Our Lady of Slay Glam, I just heard from her today. And I should be getting my tracking number for my package soon. She's starting to feel a little better. She still looks like she's in pain, but, you know, hey, that's to be expected. She had surgery, and um, she doesn't look like she got too much rest, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. People were stressing her out with, you know, emails that were kind of mean. Don't stress out a person that's at a chronic illness, that's not nice. Like, what's wrong with you? Um, so, yeah, she, she's dealing with the stay at home mom thing right now. And her kids, you know, that was kind of cute, funny. You could hear the kids in the background. Oh, hey. Playing. You must have got their homework done right away. Because that's something that always made sure my kids, you know, got their schooling in. So pretty soon school will be back in session. Pretty soon here, only a week. Um, everything will be back to uh, norm. Yep. What do I mean back to norm? President said he is making sure that all schools and everything is back to its regularly scheduled run of business and schooling and isn't that wonderful? Just one more week. Because he said, you know, there's been a big decline in a lot of things and then he has paid attention the price gouging at the grocery stores. That's wonderful that he has. And he's paid attention to food and everything going off the shelves. And knowing that not everybody is able to get out there, like myself, and get what we need. Um, so he, he is paying attention to this. I left him a message on Twitter and let him know, you know, this township isn't being run right, um, price gouging at the grocery store, now that's not right to the American people, so he's paying attention. A lot of you out there who don't think he pays attention, oh, the man pays attention. Absolutely, the man pays attention. And I know not a lot of you like him, but you know what? He's better than Hillary Clinton, I'll tell you that much. A lot of people are like, oh, the only reason I went for him because he was the lesser of two evils. Uh, evil where? Hillary Clinton, on the other hand, that's the straight up evil. If you all just, if you all knew the truth. If you all knew the truth, be like, heh? She, huh? That's right.
her cousin is hey Edward Snanny. Her cousin is Edward Snowden. You know, the guy that ran off to Russia. That's her cousin. Yep, her doodles. Did you know that former President Barack Obama actually wanted Trump to be in office, but when that happened, he got passed? Like, oh, if he ran for president, I'd vote for him. He ran for president, he didn't vote for him. Hillary Clinton wanted to see Trump in office at some point, and then, like, there were opponents, and she wasn't too happy about that, but I could care less. <sighs> She's evil. Dr. Evil. But anyway, back to Happy Spinappies. Ah, oh, yes. If I can fit my hand in here, which I can, no, my phone will fit in there. So, um, I'm not really going to clip that anymore. I mean, I sh could for right here, and I probably should, but I don't want to take too much of this off right here because I am going to tack some of it down. I mean, if I cut any off, it would probably be right about to there. And then clip it around, which is similar to the pocket design for the yellow dress challenge anyway. So, that's that. So, that's actually cut specific for the challenge. Now, I did put my needle right here. I did not lose my needle. Right in the tushnets. Um, and this is going to be great because I'm going to show you that real quick. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that... That's clean. You can see that from the outside of this. It's clean. All the stitching's on the inside. So I'm not worried about that. So, um, when I come to this part of the pocket, and that's why I cut it on the round, I'm, I'm actually only going to bring it in about yay much. And that's really about it. And then I'm going to tack that down. Um, so when I go to start from here over, I can, if I want to, I probably should, and it's not going to match the other pocket if I do that. I could actually cut a little triangle out. Then y'all might be illuminatus. Uh, That's all I have to say about that. Let me enlighten you on a few things. Enlighten you on sewing. Yes, I did the grandma licky finger thing. You're like, no. You people, I'm not even sick. I already talked to my doctors. I'm not sick. I'm allergic to bullshit, but I'm not sick. <laughs> How many of you here are allergic to bullshit? How many of you here want to be able to go outside? There's been a lot of traffic on the road lately. Not right now, but there has been a lot of traffic on the road. Um, so, I'm not hurt by that. That just means everything is going back to normal. Normal. Everything's been normal here. Um, I know. I always try to joke with you guys with 
my sayings and stuff, like normal, butamous, cutamous, you know, it's because I just try to keep this channel so positive. And right now, it is so positive. <laughs> it's so positive that I will be finishing this. Um, let's see. Oh, that means I get to go in May up to Fabric Mart. Yes, a three hour drive to Fabric Mart. And I actually know a direction to cut off like an hour and a half a time. Char is just that kind of navigator. Now, I always nab the road for my uh, staff sergeants, my army staff sergeants. And they were like, how do you know that? I'm like, I grew up around here. I know these roads. We take this back road. We take that back road. And this cuts like so many minutes off of our drive. 30 minutes off of the drive. Um, so yeah, I know how to nab the roads. I'm like the human GPS. Hello, welcome to the human GPS hotline. How may I direct your driving today? Let me pull up that map for you. Your best driving time estimated one hour and 35 minutes. Let's get our drive on. Right now, let's so make this happen. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to Fabric Mart in a couple of months. Yeah. That'll be nice. Nice to go up there, say hi to Bib Mom, which yes, I did subscribe to her channel. Yeah, I know that's the evil S word. What is that button even there with that name on it? If you're not allowed to say it, I'm just saying it. Michigander man says butter your buns. You know that he had to have um, a paper from work yesterday because the governor, the Michigan governor literally you guys want to talk about real lockdown I'll tell you what real lockdown is he had to have papers from work poor guy in case he got pulled over by the army to prove that he works at that Walmart now that's messed up Shame on that governor. That that right there is some messed up shit talky. Pe other people are panicking. You know, the Michigan governor took it way too far. And I think that's one of the reasons why President Trump got, you know, pissed off and saying, you know, hey, enough is enough. We're not going to have that going on here in America because he did not, he did not call for um, martial law. What? No. And then those chicks fly into Jeffree Star, South New Jersey. 
no parts of New Jersey are on lockdown. Even President Trump said that. New Jersey is not on lockdown. If New Jersey was on lockdown, why are, look, 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 see that? Those are headlights. If we were on lockdown, what, what, you know, I've shown you guys this before. Yeah, right? Like, if we were actually on lockdown, why are there cars out there driving? You're like, oh, because they only have so many minutes to get home, and they only have 15 minutes to get home. No. People are going to drive up and down that damn street because they, they want to get out. Abadabs was saying that there's been more people going out even at night on her street than ever now. Because nobody's staying inside. Screw this. Screw this flu. Go outside. Fresh air will do you some good. Anybody remember, and I remember this when I had rheumatic fever. Now, I survived rheumatic fever, and that's a really hard thing to survive. So, the doctors told the woman that raised me, put me outside at night. She would only do it at night. And so, I was sat outside at night to get fresh air sitting in my wheelchair. Yes, I was in a wheelchair as a kid. Um, so I was sat outside at night to get some fresh air into my lungs. And one of the kids in the house unlocked my wheelchair and tried to push me down the steps to see if I get up or die. Isn't that some evil shit? She's getting her karma though. <laughs> karma happens to people. Now see, look, I'm almost done along here right and all I did was fold that so basically you take your fabric and you just you're folding it in and you're sewing it now see if shark can survive rheumatic fever and see like nobody's taking to effect that Rheumatic fever has a lot to do with my eyes changing. Absolutely. Um, I was told when you're when you get older, um, rheumatic fever that you had as a child can affect your eyes as an adult, and that's been affecting my eyes, and it doesn't bother me. I don't mind wearing glasses. I wore glasses off and on when I was a kid, so I'm like, it's adulthood. Who cares? It is what it is. And it doesn't stop me from living. I mean, look at me. I've been told my skills wouldn't take me nowhere, but I'm teaching you guys and having a conversation at the same time. And I hope y'all are paying attention. Like, don't let nothing stop you from your dreams. You can do it. Um, I know one of my fellow YouTube creators exposed one of her deepest, dark secrets of something she does for extra money. But, you know, I wouldn't do that. Because <laughs> that's just... It ain't my thing. Can't be diva delicious on the phone. And y'all know me as something else. So... <laughs> I have to laugh about that. Though. Kind of funny. But, you know, if it makes somebody's 
a dollar here and there. Make somebody a dollar here and there. Don't be ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I just think it's kind of funny. It's your job. It's your job. You just gotta hope that it's not your pastor calling you and you're like, Pastor Marcus? And then you? Oh no, we gotta hang up, man. That's some unholy thing. <laughs> I'm just saying, cause now that would be funny. Did I? Darla, is that you on the? Mm mm. And then that messes you up at, at whatever church you go to. Now I'm a spiritual person, but I'm just thinking, what if your pastor called you? And then you gotta be like. Not let the person know it's you. <laughs> or. I don't know. That would be weird. I would be uncomfortable. Looking at that person in the eye. Like. Church. But I don't know if I'm comfortable. Now I know a lot of churches use radio. And TV. So like. All y'all that, you know, are churchy goers, you have that, um, I was forced to go to church when I was a kid, don't force it, don't force it on a child, if a child wants to go, they want to go, if a child don't want to go, let them have a choice. Especially if they're a specific age. They need to make their choices. It's how they learn. Let a child have a choice that, you know, you're going through something and you have a child. Let your child be a choice maker. I mean, I have four kids, but like I said, only one talks to me. But you know what? Choices were made. I was like, there's no way I can stop his choices. So, it was what it was. And I think it was basically because his brother picked on him a lot. that he made that choice to get away from his brother. Because, you know, when your blood, you got to stick together. You can't just be mean. But I'm rambling on. It's uh, past 35, you know, on the mark. Um, so this is what I've got done on that. And I'm going to call it a night. We might end up with one pocket just a smidge shorter than the other. One will be for a phone. The one will be for everything else. There you go. How about that? Anyway, I'm not too worried about it. This will be on the inside. Nobody will see it. Um, what I'm worried about is actually the outside the fit. And then I will put this on later. And um, refit everything around my waist and everything and the same thing goes for the bodice before attaching all that so anyway i just want you guys to know our lovely president says guess what one more week and i believe that's this week and then we're all back to normal I know what your normal is, but mine is staying happy, staying healthy, staying positive. And as always, I want you to stay blessed. And I will see you.
in the next one for this. Because we have some semi magic to do. So mode it be. <laughs> See you later.